lot of people are starting to wonder where this whole coronavirus incident could be impacting real estate, particularly even their desire around their own housing. I think it's important for me to reiterate a long-held belief that one's primary residence cannot and should not be thought of primarily in the investment category. It changes the way one may think about the timing of a purchase or a sale or, or things like that, or even how a fluctuation of value actually might impact somebody. A primary residence is, of course, fundamentally where someone lives, where they raise their family. Uh, other investment real estate is certainly more sensitive in a practical sense to entry price and exit price and things like that. No one really knows exactly how the coronavirus uh, effects on the economy will impact real estate values in the short term. Uh, certainly, like any other risk asset, to the extent that the economy is stressed from the uh, recovery out of the COVID lockdowns and so forth, it's likely to have some sort of impact in real estate values. How long that will last is as unknown as the impact to the economy at large, the impact of the stock market, and other things that we talk about a great deal. The question is how much that really matters. If you're getting ready to make a purchase in a, a home that you think is right for you and your family, and you have the down payment protective equity ready to go, uh, but perhaps that price you think could be a little cheaper in three months, does it make sense to wait those are the things you have to sort of evaluate case by case. Generally speaking, it's unlikely that the odds are going to ever get much better than 50-50 at guessing which way things move in a three-month, four-month type period. Ultimately, one's primary real estate is easier to think about when one considers it as a non-investment asset and the various speculative or income properties categorized more as an investment asset. So coronavirus has, has brought in uncertainty to the real estate category, just like it has every other thing. Within short-term time periods, it's very unlikely one's going to speculate exactly how that plays out. Longer term, one can go about making the decision that seems most practical in their broader set of objectives. Let's talk about this and more at thebonsongroup.com.